getting ready with a bunch of new Sephora makeup that I recently got. So if you guys want to see how I got ready and did this makeup and did my hair and all this, then please keep on watching. So as you guys see, I took a shower and I washed my hair. I'm going to be putting in the K18 hair mask. So let's do that before I start my makeup. Alrighty, so now that that's all done, I'm gonna leave this in my hair for four minutes and then brush my hair and then add all the other products that I use for my hair. So we're gonna start off now with some skincare to prep my face before makeup. So I'm gonna be using the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. I love this stuff before makeup. It is such a perfect base. So I put this all over my skin. So for base, I do alternate between the dew drops and then I also use the Dior Forever Glow Veal Primer. I alternate between these two and they are both really, really good. But today I'm gonna be using the dew drops, so yeah. For moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Glow Recipe Plump Plump, I can never say this right, Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. So I use this as my moisturizer and this smells so good and it's so hydrating, I love it. So I put this all over my face. Okay, so now that that's kind of seeped into my skin, I'm gonna be going in with the Makeup by Mario foundation in the color 15N. So I want my makeup to be glowy today because it is summer and yeah, I wanna switch up my foundation. I usually use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, but today I'm switching it up. So yeah, I'm gonna put some of this on my face and I do like to apply this with my hands just because I feel like it looks the most natural, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just really like the way that it applies with my hands. And this foundation is really, really nice for the summer, I find. It's really glowy. And yeah, I just really, really like it. And this color is like the perfect shade for my um, fake tan. So yeah, I love it. I look crazy. <laughs> I find when you put on foundation, um, just foundation, you look insane. But once that kind of just like seeps into my skin, I'm gonna let it like kind of dry off. Um, and now I'm just gonna go in and brush my hair now that the K18 mask has been in my hair for a while. So yeah. Now that my hair is brushed, I'm gonna go in with my Kerastase hair oil, and I love this stuff. It makes my hair super, super soft, so I'm gonna be going in with that. And focusing on the ends of my hair because you don't wanna put oil in your roots because it's gonna get oily and it's gonna weigh it down and look greasy, so we don't want that. <laughs> Like ever since I started using these quality products on my hair, my hair has been super, super healthy. So I'll go get a haircut or a hair trim, I should say, every few months. And the last time that I got it, I want to say was in May, I think. Um, and right now I would probably be due for a hair trim, but I feel like these products that I've been using on my hair have made me feel like I don't really need a trim. So I feel like these products have been working really well with my hair. And yeah, I feel like I don't really need a trim. My hair is super healthy at the bottoms and I love it. So I'm gonna definitely keep using these products because they're so good, especially the K18 hair mask. I feel like it really made a difference in my hair and I've used it for a total of three times now. So not much, but I feel like instantly my hair feels completely different. So anyways, I'm gonna tie my hair up because I don't like my hair down when i do my makeup i don't know if anyone else is like that and i'm using a like silk scrunchie so it's not pulling my hair or anything um i only ever use silk scrunchies because they are the best for your hair 
um, and I have a bunch. So yeah, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna do these off camera in the bathroom to do my eyebrows because it's so difficult for me to do it here. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go do that real quick, but I'll show you guys what I use. I think you've seen this multiple times on my YouTube channel, but I use the Lancome Eye Brow Define Pencil in the shade 12, which is dark brown. And then I also use the Rare Beauty Brown Shape and Fill Duo to fill in my brows and then to carve out my brows i'm using the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade 16n and i use a brush to just kind of shape them better and then i'm going to be using the anastasia um, beverly hill clear brow gel so i'm going to go do my eyebrows real quick and i will be right back okay so now that my eyebrows are done i'm going to be doing concealer so i'm going to be using the same concealer it's the tarte shape tape one that i talked about and just doing my under eyes so I really like a bright under eye, so I like to put really bright concealer um, and light concealer underneath, so yeah. And then I'm going to be taking a beauty blender. Here. And just blending in the concealer. So then I'm gonna be going in with my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream and using this as contour. Like so. And then I'm gonna be going in with a cream blush. So I'm gonna be using the NARS um, Afterglow Liquid Blush in Orgasm. And I'm just putting this on. And I actually uh, blend this in with my hands just because I feel like it's the easiest. Very, very natural. So I really, really like this blush. Now I'm going to be going in and contouring my nose. So I'm going to be using a very thin contour brush here. It's a very, very thin one. And I'm using the same Chanel Cream Bronzer. And I'm going to be using this mirror here so I can see better. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be contouring my nose with this. Like so. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of let that sit there for a little bit. Um, and kind of dry off first before I go and blend it in. I usually blend it in with my fingers. I really like using my fingers to do my makeup. I don't know why I find it just like looks the most natural. Um, but yeah, I just blend my contour i really like this uh chanel contour because it um it's really natural and i feel like it blends really really nicely and you get a lot like it's a huge huge packaging so i really really like that so yeah now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna be setting my face. So I'm gonna be using the Givenchy Prisme Libre um, in the shade three. And I'm just gonna be setting my face with this. And I actually used the little powder puff that um, came with it. I usually use this just to set my entire face and then I'll bake afterwards, but. Just so it's more matte. Um, I like matte makeup on me personally, even though I just used a glowy foundation, but for the final product, I like when everything is matte. I feel like um, dewy and glowy makeup just does not suit me. I feel like I look really greasy and oily and it's not 
it's not the vibe that I'm going for. So I don't prefer it, but yeah. eyelids too just make sure everything is set with this i really really like this uh powder it's very very blurring and um i feel like it lasts really really long and it looks like really natural which i really like it doesn't look like i'm wearing a pound of makeup on my face which i really like the next thing i'll do is i'll take my charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow face sculpt and highlight palette and I'm actually gonna be um, bronzing up my face with this shade here. So. That's what I use. And I'm using the Merit brush um, to apply this. I feel like the shape of the brush applies really well with this bronzer. So I really like that. Like so. And then I'm going to be going in and I'm going to be baking. So I'm going to be using the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in the color Ultra Pink. This is so pretty, you guys. I love it, especially with like blush. You'll see when I put it all together, it's going to look so good. And I'm going to be using a new puff pad that I got from Amazon. I showed you guys this in my previous vlog. So yeah, I'm going to be using a new one. And it's so cute because it matches. It's pink and we love that. So I'm going to be going in and just baking under my eyes for this one using another powder for the other sections of my face so yeah this is only for my under eyes so i'm going to be opening this just kind of grabbing in the product more to come out <laughs> that's how it looks it's like very 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 pink <laughs> But it's so pretty under the eyes, I find. And I just like do this around my nose so it gives me more of like a clean contour. And then I'm going to go in after and contour my nose with a powder. But yeah, this is what I like to do. And then I just like wait till this kind of sets in and then i'm going to be going in with the huda beauty setting powder in the color cupcake and this is really nice as well i'm going to be taking this um sephora powder brush powder brush powder puff um and just cleaning up my bronzer I love the way this smells. This powder smells so good. Okay, so then what I do is, while that's kind of just setting on my face, I'm gonna be going in with my eyelash curler. I use the Shiseido eyelash curler, and this is so good. I have like gunk on it because my mascara is on it. I hate that but I'm just removing that. And yeah, I'm gonna be curling my lashes and I like to curl my lashes like very, very curled. So I do this like a few times before I apply my mascara. And my lashes are very curled. So I'm gonna do the other one. So now I'm gonna be going in with my new mascara. I'm so excited to try this. So I usually use a eyelash primer when I do my mascara, I use the Lancome Seals Booster XL, but I'm actually not going to be using it today because I really want to see how the mascara works. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. And yeah, let's try it out and see if I like it. So I heard really, really good things about this mascara. The um, bristles are very, very small. It kind of reminds me of the Telescopic from L'Oreal. Um, and yeah, I saw a bunch of like reviews on this and it looked really, really nice. So let's try it out. Wow. <laughs> it already made a huge difference and I didn't even use that much. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other one and just kind of wait till it dries because I don't want it to get clumpy. Okay. 
I'm always in the hunt for a good mascara because um, I only wear mascara when I do my makeup or falsies or anything. I don't wear um, eyeshadow or anything. I just keep it very simple. So I've been using the Dior uh, mascara. I also have the YSL mascara. I also have another Dior mascara that I use. I just love trying out um, mascaras and this sold me because this looked so promising. So, so far I really like it. Also, if you guys can hear water running, Jay is taking a shower. So, just ignore that. <laughs> he is so sweet. He's not listening to music because I'm recording. So, he's just taking a shower in silence. <laughs> because the shower is like right next to my beauty room. So, if you play music, you could hear. But so far, the lashes are lashing. They look really, really good. They don't look clumpy. This is just one coat. So, I mean, you could even just do this and be done with it. But I like my lashes very long, very dramatic. Um, so I'm going to do more, but I'm just going to wait till it dries off. But in the meantime, I'm going to use a brush and just kind of wipe away the powder. Ooh, I think I got that in my face. In my face, in my eye. <laughs> Obviously, it's on my face. But yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Look at my under eyes and then look like my lower half of the face. Um, I feel like it definitely makes a difference. I feel like I look like I'm wearing blush, but I'm not even wearing blush. I really like this powder, the one size pink powder, ultra pink, I should say. Um, pink has just been my favorite thing lately. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because the Barbie movie came out and everything has been pink, 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 but I've been loving pink again. I kind of got over pink at one point and now I'm loving it again. So yeah, we're back to loving pink. I feel like everything that I get is like pink. <laughs> my hairbrush is pink too. I'm just gonna brush my face. So yeah, my face looks like I have a filter, which is great. So now I'm gonna go in again with the mascara and just apply another coat. Wow, my lashes are definitely lashing. <laughs> They're very, very, very long. Um, I feel like if you apply a lot of coats though, it's gonna get clumpy because they're kind of already starting to get clumpy, but I think I'm gonna stop it here. I don't think I'm gonna use any more. I'm gonna just um, use my eyelash curler after, but I'm so excited to try the next thing that I got. So I'm gonna be taking my Givenchy Prisme Libre Blush. It is the four color loose powder blush in the shade one. My first time using it and I'm so excited. So this is how it looks. There's actually a little mirror on it, which is so convenient and it comes with a little powder puff and I'm gonna use the powder puff but I'm just gonna rip off the sticker. I'm just gonna shake this up a bit and put it on. I love blush lately. I'm such a blush girly, especially like a nice pink blush. I feel like it's so nice. So this is how it looks. It's very, very pink and a little powder puff that it comes with is so cute. It's the details, the little pink Font. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is very, 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 very pink, but Ooh, that's very nice Oh my gosh, I love that I feel like it's so pretty Wow So it's definitely buildable, I feel like it's pigmented though, like I don't feel like I need a lot and it's already like showing up a lot. Um, but I like a good amount of blush just because I am tan and I feel like um, blushes don't really show that well on my tan. So I put a decent amount, but oh my God, it's so pretty and I kind of just like bring it up. So that's so nice. I love that. So pretty. I love the color. It reminds me of the Dior blush, but this is definitely more pigmented. Um, and it just looks really, really good. So now I'm going to be going in and contouring my nose using the Real Techniques one. I'm going to be using the same bronzer color from Charlotte Tilbury that I used for my face. And I'm going to be contouring my nose. Like so. 
And now I'm gonna be using another new product that I got. So I got the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This is so pretty, you guys. And the packaging is everything. So I'm gonna be stripping off the sticker and using it. Look at that, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna clean this brush because I did have highlighter on it before. I use the highlighter that comes in this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's really, really nice. It's pretty similar on the same color, but this one's a little bit more pinky, I wanna say. It has a pink color to it. And apparently this is very pigmented, so I'm not gonna use too much, but It's so pretty. I love it. I love a cheap highlight. <gasps> Look at that. It's so nice. Blending everything in with this brush just to make sure everything looks seamless and nice. And now I'm gonna be doing my lips, and the only thing I do for my lips is I, actually no, I'm gonna curl my, my lashes, so let me curl them. Yeah, the lashes are definitely lashing. They look so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna be blending everything in again, just to make sure that doesn't look too crazy and just highlighting my nose okay just blending that in with my finger you guys can see like so brush my eyebrows a little more I'm going to be doing my lips now, and I think I'm just going to put the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in vanilla. I got this recently as well, and I wanted to see how it looks with makeup on. I wanted to get the pink sugar one, but they didn't have it in stock, so I just got this one instead. It's a clear gloss, but I really like the application of it, so... Mm, it smells so good. And yeah, that is basically my makeup. How the makeup looks. So I'm gonna go do my hair right now. I'm gonna blow dry it um, with my hair straight and just kind of straighten it. And I will be right back and I'll show you guys how everything looks after I'm done. because it's really clean <laughs> and I've come to the realization that I don't like clean hair like I'd rather or like first day hair I should say I'd rather second day hair or like third day hair I feel like it it's too clean right now and it's too hard to like style if that makes any sense I feel like it's really really poofy I'm probably gonna tie it off honestly I don't feel like I'm gonna keep it um, down because I feel like it's very poofy. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of bronzing up my face a little bit more because I feel like I need it. And I'm gonna go tie my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. So I put on some body lotion as well to give me some glow. I don't know if you guys can see that. I put on my jewelry, um, everyday jewelry, my earrings as well. I haven't worn earrings in forever. Um, and yeah, this is how I'm looking. I put my hair up just because I cannot be bothered. And I also put lotion on my body and I don't want my hair to get oily. So yeah, that's basically it for me getting ready, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of more blush. I'm gonna add the Dior blush as well, just to add. I love blush lately. I don't know what it is. Like, I just feel like blush is so pretty. 
bit on my nose as well. Is this too much now? <laughs> I don't know. And I don't care. So yeah, that is basically the look for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me. I'm going to add a little bit of perfume on as well. So I'm going to be using the Prada Paradox one. You guys know I love this and I'm running really, really low, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to go pick up a new bottle. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.